All right, so a little while ago, I did a video about Rofi. So Rofi, as you probably know, is a nice application launcher. You can use it to open an application, maybe switch between windows, but it can do a whole lot more besides just that. I've been playing around with it in the past few weeks, and there are just a million and one uses that you can find for it. So besides just being an application launcher, what you can also do is you can use it to select emojis. As you can see here, you can search through a million and one emojis. Let's grab a lizard. You can paste it in here. You can even use it for menus, maybe your power menu. You want a menu so that you can click power off, restart, or lock your computer or something like that. You can even use it for something like a Wi-Fi menu. So if I click here, it'll pull up a big list of all the different Wi-Fi networks I have in my area, which is pretty useful. And so I just want to show you a few different uses for Rofi in this video, how you can install everything, set everything up, and maybe even script your own uses for Rofi in the future. For example, the Wi-Fi menu I made by myself, I made the power menu by myself. So basically with Rofi, whatever you imagine you can make, it's very useful to use it as a menu for all different kinds of scripts. I'm sure you can think of a whole bunch of more uses than I can. But anyway, let's get started with showing you all the different uses for Rofi. Let's start with the emoji selector first, of course. So I already showed you what you can do. And what you need to do first is actually install this script. So as you can see, we are on GitHub. There is a nice script called Rofi Emoji. And you can install it depending on your system. If you're on Arch Linux, if you're a superior Arch user, you can just install it from the official repositories. If you're on something else, you might just have to make it yourself so basically you would just install all of these dependencies and run these commands in order to build it. It's not going to be too complicated. But once you get this all installed, what you can do here is run rofi-show emoji. So this will bring up the menu and it'll kind of give you a hard time right here. It will say emoji is not enabled. That's because it wants you to enable the modi. So what you can do here is pass in dash modi emoji and then it won't give you a hard time about it. Or you can just go into your Rofi configuration file and at the top there's going to be Modi right here. You're going to want to add emoji here. And let me also add calc because I will show you a calculator later. And once you've done that, then you can run Rofi-show emoji right here. And it's not gonna give you any warning messages or anything. And the way this emoji selector works is, as I showed you before, you can search for anything that you want here, hit enter, and it's going to be copied to your clipboard. You can paste this a whole bunch of times. And of course, you would probably map this to some key binding. For me, I'm using SSHKD for my key binding application. So for me personally, I would open this up, maybe add some command here like super shift E and have that run rofi show emoji right here. Okay, restart Rofi, and I hit Super Shift E, and now I have an emoji menu wherever I want. That's very useful because we're not using GNOME or anything like that. We gotta make our own emoji menus. And another cool use for Rofi is going to be this calculator right here. Again, this is installed from this GitHub repository right here. It's available in the Arch Linux repositories. Otherwise, you may have to build it from source here. All right, but once you've installed that, you can run this with this command right here. Now this is kind of long, but we're just passing in these options just so we can use it more like a calculator and less like an actual Rofi menu. But if you set this to some key binding, then you don't have to type this every single time, of course. So let's just hit enter and we have a calculator. So of course you can do basic arithmetic like one plus one is going to equal two. But besides just basic arithmetic, you can do all kinds of cool stuff with this. It's actually really good at understanding natural language input so you can put in something like one Bitcoin to USD and you can actually see how much Bitcoin is worth right now. I think that's accurate. I don't know how up to date it is, but you can convert to different currencies right here. You can exchange euros to USD if you want. You can also do something like 500 plus 25 percent. If you want 500 plus 25 percent, that's going to be 625. So you can really input a lot of things here and it'll kind of just figure it out. So this is a really smart calculator. I really like using this for a lot of my day-to-day -day calculations whenever you need to do some simple math. 
but I think it's actually supposed to, let me just show you the screenshot here. It's actually supposed to show you the results on the fly, I think. Uh, maybe it's just my Rofi theme that doesn't show that. But you could probably figure out how to get this as well. That way it can show you some errors if you type in something wrong as well. And next let's go over using Rofi as a Wi-Fi menu. So I actually made this script personally because there was a Wi-Fi script that was basically from three years ago that nobody ever updated and it didn't really work well with modern versions of Rofi. So basically I just made it a little bit more modern. And you can download this, I'll leave a link to this and all of the other ones in the description. But what I did for this one personally, you can download this Git repository and move your Rofi Wi-Fi menu. Uh, you can put it somewhere in your path variable. So let me just show you everything that's in my path variable right now. For me personally, I like using .local slash bin for my personal user scripts. So you would just copy the script into somewhere like here if you want to use it yourself. But let me just show you how this looks. So I can run Wi-Fi menu. It will send me a little notification that it's getting it ready. And I can search through all the different Wi-Fi networks I have here. I can also disable Wi-Fi if I want to. I can hit enter on this one. It will automatically connect for me. And if I don't have it saved already, it'll prompt me for a password and you can type that in. As you can see, it has now connected me automatically. And I have another very similar script for my power menu right here. And this will just give me a few options so I can turn off my computer. It's easier than typing the command in a terminal. And let me just show you how I actually make these commands work. Because I want you to be able to make your own as well. You don't have to just copy things from GitHub. You can think of things yourself as well. So let me just go to local slash bin. This one's called power menu. And so as you can see, this is just going to be a very basic script. So what I'm doing here is just printing a list of three options, power off, restart, and lock. And then I'm piping it to rofi d menu. So d menu is the mode that you want to use whenever you want to use rofi as a menu. So you can pass in anything to here using the dash D menu option and you can then select it using Rofi's menu. And I'm saving the result to this variable called chosen. So if I choose power off, then it will save power off in this variable. And I'm just using a switch statement right here in order to say if I select power off, then run this command. If I pick restart, then run this command. If I pick lock, then run my screen locker. And if I don't pick anything, just exit. And so this is a very simple script. Even if you don't know much about bash scripting, uh, I'm sure you can kind of wrap your head around everything. And so you can use Rofi just to make things more user friendly. And I'll also show you my Wi-Fi menu script. It's a little more complicated than this, but it's the same idea. So this looks pretty complicated, but under the hood, it's basically just this. I'm passing a big list of all the different available Wi-Fi connections and I'm piping it into Rofi. This dash I option is just so that it's case insensitive. I'm setting the selected row to one. So by default, it will select the second item on the list. That is going to be the first Wi-Fi item. I don't want it to highlight disable Wi-Fi by default. I'm passing in dash P for the prompt. That's just going to be this right here. What is prompting you to type in. And from there, I'm just using a whole bunch of bash scripting in order to actually connect to the Wi-Fi network using a command line tool called NMCLI. And so if you've done any bash scripting before, this should be something you can do. Maybe I'll do a video on bash scripting if you don't know too much about it. But it is very useful because you can build simple applications for yourself like this. And again, I'll have this and the power menu script up on my GitHub if you want to check those out. But that's it for this video. Just a very simple video on some different thing that you can do with Rofi. Hopefully this gives you some good ideas about the power of Rofi, what you can all do with Rofi. I'm sure you can look up Rofi scripts and find a million and one more uses for Rofi, but this is just what I've been using personally. So for example, I found this repository right here called Rofi Menus that has a whole bunch of different uses for Rofi. You can use it to control your music. You can use it to take screenshots. You can use it to set up a VPN, all these other different things. And you can really customize it to look nice as well. So if you really want to rice your system and make it look really nice, I don't care that much about aesthetics, to be honest, but you could totally do something like this if you want to. I think it looks very nice. So go ahead and check out some of the things that I showed you in this video, and let me know if you find any other cool uses for Rofi in the comments.